Today we'll look at how to convert an MOV file to MP4. We'll use a free and open source program called Handbrake. VLC is another program that has this ability. I've tried to use it, but haven't gotten good results. It often doesn't convert the audio correctly, so I've decided to use Handbrake instead. To get Handbrake, you can go to the website, handbrake.fr. It's a well-regarded open source program with tons of video features. It's supported on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm on Windows, I'll click download Handbrake, and I'll save it to my computer. I'll open the folder, and I'll install it here. This will be slightly different if you're on Mac or Linux. I'll just click to the install. I'll accept the default options. That location's fine. And I'll create a desktop shortcut and I'll say finish. Now I'll run the program. I'll double click on the icon here and I'll enable updates. Now what we want to do is load the MOV file. We can drag a file here or we can click file open here. I have this MOV file on my computer. I'll just play it for a second. So what I'll do is I'll click and drag it into handbrake. I'll let go. And now it's loaded. For the most part, all the default options here are pretty good, but you can tailor them as you like. For example, if your input file is high resolution and frame rate, you can click the preset here and you can choose the matching values. But I'll leave the default as fast 1080p 30. You can also check web optimize if you're gonna be posting your file online. That just helps it stream dynamically a little bit better. And there's other options here that you can further tune. But for the most part, I like the defaults. Now the only thing we have to do is choose the output directory. I'll click the browse button here. I'll put it in that temp folder again. I'll call it Space Station MP4. Just make sure you have the right extension there. I'll click Save. And now I'll press Start and Code. It'll take a few seconds, and it's done. Let's go back to that folder. And here I have my MP4 version. And if I play it, it works perfectly. To learn how to use Handbrake to compress large video files, check out my video on that topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.